So guys, it's a bit shocking that during week screening at the Senate today, even the Labour Party representatives could not even ask him any question. My people, is this one charm? Let me allow you to listen to what Wiki said and how he was asked to take a bow. Is this one service to Nigerian people or is it a reward for his actions during the election? Take a look at this. Everybody will attest the fact that I changed the landscape of Port Harcourt. It's on record. In four years, I constructed 12 flyovers in four years, not by any contractor. My general speaker, Nigeria Limited. One of you, Mr. President, will attest to the fact that you have even come to River State to commission projects. Eminent Nigerians, in both, or it does not matter which affiliation, whether you're a politician, whether you're not a politician, whether you belong to Party A or you belong to Party B, all have come to River State to commission projects. And I can tell you, what is important, there's no thing like magic. What is important is what passion do you have? What commitment do you love your people? And I can say, as a governor, then, in my four years, in the second tenure, I've never left my state. I've slept outside my state. I've been sure that I'm in my state to take the challenges to solve the problems of my people. And that's why when I was living, I was living like a hero. They escorted me home, where women bought out their rappers and laid on the ground and said, March on the rapper, welcome our son. You have done very, very well. <laughs> the 27th of May, while I was living to the 27th of May, Mr. Sly President, I was commissioning, I was flagging off a project. This thing can be achieved if you are committed, if you have passion for the job. There are so many people who want to be minister, who want to be governor, for the sake that I was a governor, for the sake that I was a minister. But there are those who say, look, what do I want to offer? Am I committed to this job? And I told Mr. President, for nominating me, I believe, knowing how hungry Mr. President is to solving the problems of Nigeria, we have no choice but to give him that required support. I can assure you, if I'm confined, it will never, whatever capacity, Mr. President will not regret nominating me. Thank you, and God bless you. Uh, distinguished colleagues, before you is a man that needs no introduction. His Excellency, Governor Emeritus, Yes, um, we can. Even as he was speaking, you could see the passion. You could see the love that he has for this country. Your Excellency, I was one of those who commissioned projects during your tenure when you were governor. So we welcome you, but this is the Nigerian Senate. And one of the things that the public worries about is that sometimes we play um, mm. politics with our voices. But when we get into office, we close the door against Nigerians. Will you be open? Will you have an open door policy so that all Nigerians can assess you, even the poor, those with problems? Will you also be in a position to allow proper oversight of whichever ministry is given to you by legislators, because those are the things that concern us. Being accessible to the people that you are meant to serve and also allowing proper oversight for accountability. Deputy Senate President, do you have a question for this nominee? Otherwise, we tell him to take a bow and go. Uh, Mr. President, my distinguished colleagues, my name is Barrel Jabrin and presented or not in this alloy chambers. Mr. President, when I visited River State some time back, when the president of this country went there to commission some roads, 
and other projects. I saw what the nominee did in Rivers. The legacy projects he executed. In fact, I was thinking that uh, I missed my way. I thought I was not even in River State. I thought I was out of the country because of uh, several overhead bridges I saw and the wonderful projects he executed in the areas of education, health care delivery system, and judiciary. Our own and several other areas. So I'm beginning to see that uh, if you have this kind of person as governor in several states in this country, this country will change. So my question is this the wonderful work you did in Rivers, are you going to replicate that in any ministry that you find yourself when? Uh, 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 after you've been cleared to be a minister in this country. Are you going to replicate that? Are you going to do the same thing you do with the passion, the zeal you execute, I mean, that you put forward in the those projects? Are you going to replicate that kind of scenario? That's my question. Mike. Uh, you know, I, I, it will be unfair if the people of Rivers that are here and they see him, and they don't learn a voice. So let me first invite uh, the civil senator Mbigi. Here is the nominee of Mr. President, that from River State. And uh, you, you, the River State caucus, do you have any objection? Thank you, Mr. President. I remain Mbigi Barinada. Mr. President, I stand here on behalf of the three senators from River State, that the man standing before you is our best from River State. We are here, let me not just over exaggerate, but I want to say he's our role model. I want to say all what he has said and what he has enumerated in his CV and form he has not put it in. The three senators from River State and over 5 million rivers people back at home. They are saying they are in total conformity with our leader. And I want all my distinct colleagues to just ask our leader to take a bow, if possible, and go. Thank you, Mr. President. This is Senator Mbige. When you were speaking, I had ghost pimples. Because you mentioned that over 5 million people in rivers are with this nominee. And you confirm that his resume, the content are insufficient to enumerate the achievements of the nominee. I don't think there's anybody here who is opposed to this nominee. Uh, uh, Your Excellency. Can you... So guys, these people just robbed Nigerians to pay, they robbed Peter to pay Paul. They robbed, you know, the Nigerian people this election just to, you know, please themselves. So it's not as if Wike cannot do a good job. But considering what Wike did during the election, for me, he has dented his image. That's just me. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Thank you.